Uh, hello everyone, hope you're all doing good and keeping safe. And I'm really excited and happy to be part of the, one of the biggest and most renowned conferences in the world, Techno Day. I want to thank the team for providing me this opportunity and also congratulate them for putting up this great show for us. Without any further ado, let's dive, dive into the topic. So today, in this video, we are going to see how to solve an important and most common problems in any web applications, that is how to make users navigate from one part of the application to another seamlessly in various scenarios. And we are, yes, we are going to use uh, like routing mechanism in Angular to make this possible. Before diving into the topic, let me just introduce and tell a bit about myself. I am working as a software engineer and have around 3.5 years of industry experience. And my area of expertise is all about the web and have uh, experience in front-end technologies like Angular, React, and JavaScript. Apart from my day-to-day -day job, I'm also a passionate community leader where I lead community uh, members like Google Developers Group and Women Tech Makers at here at India, uh, almost for past two years where I organize multiple meetups, conferences, and so on and so forth. And a quick fact about me is I love public speaking, networking, and have delivered over 10 technical talks, including an international talk at DefS Norway that last year. That's pretty much about myself. So yes, like moving on to the technical topic for today. So in any web application, there are going to be a bunch of different pages. And we as a developer want the user to navigate uh, users to uh, from one page to another and under different scenarios and different conditions. So here, for an example, I have considered the most commonly uh, seen web pages in any web application, that is uh, home, about page, contact page, and login page. So yes, in this video, we are going to see the most common and important problem, as I stated before, like moving the users seamlessly from one page to another page. And here we are going to make Alexa move from about page to login page seamlessly. And let's see how we can do that. So the major step in achieving this is setting up a routing module. And before that, I will introduce to what is routing in Angular, and we will create this seamless navigation with a demo project. Yes, so in this talk, we will be seeing this example as seen in the screenshot here, a sample uh, project where there are going to be four different components like home, about, contact, and login page. And we will see how to attach different components to each of them. Let's see first what is routing before going into the uh, routing module. Guys, so in any uh, application, we have scenarios like I have stated before, like entering a URL in the address bar, the browser navigates to a corresponding page, or clicking on links on any of the page, the browser navigates to a new page. And these are some of the commonly used uh, seen scenarios in any web application. And Angular provides us an inbuilt easy to use library for developers like us to implement all types of navigation, as I mentioned before. And that library is called Angular Router. Angular Router can interpret a browser URL as an instruction to navigate to a client generated view. You can pass any optional parameters also along to the supporting view component. That help uh, to decide for the Angular router to decide which uh, particular component it needs to be rendered for that particular route. And you can bind all these routes to a links on, on a page and it will navigate to the appropriate application view when the user clicks on that particular link. So now uh, we saw like what is routing in Angular. Now we will see how to set up this routing module in Angular. There are basically five steps in setting up the routing module, like here. The first one is adding the routing module inside our Angular application. Then we will have to import the added router module. Then we will be adding another uh, outlet called router outlet. And then we have to, we will be creating as uh, desired routes for the all the links in any web application. And also finally adding the navigational links using which the users will navigate to different pages. And don't worry, let's see each of these steps in detail and we can see how we can uh, like create all these links and add the routes in, in applications. The first step, which is the adding the routing model. So in, in our web, uh, web application, on, for as far as in, for any Angular web application, that is going to be the main source app file where we will be creating the routing module. 
First, we start as highlighted in the code module over here in the blue box. We are going to start by importing the ng module from the Angular code package, which is the uh, TypeScript decorator to create any Angular module. We also import the second module, which is the main router module and routes from the at Angular router package. And this at Angular router package is the one which, uh, which provides all these uh, plugins router module and routes and makes the developers to create routes easily in the Angular application. So yes, next moving on, like router module provides like static methods uh, like router module dot forward and passing a configuration object to the router. Next, we define a constant route or array of routes which will be uh, used to hold the information for each route. And in the imports attribute of this object, we call the static router module. This is the one which will contain the routes array as parameter. And finally, in the exports array, we will be exporting whatever the routing model we created. So, which is simply a TypeScript class decorated uh, with ng model decorator. So, this, this is how we set up the routing model with three simple steps. Initially, first importing them and then using this for uh, with the array of constants. Uh, which will be defining the uh, routes in the later on session of this tutorial. And finally, exporting this app routing module. Next, we want to import this created routing module in the main app module in our web application though, so that we can use them in our application. So, as seen here, we have imported the app routing module in the uh, highlighted code section and we have added in the imports array of the main module, like here. So this is how we have you, uh, we are importing the app routing module inside our uh, main application. The third step, as I've mentioned before, is the router ad outlet addition. Uh, like we have to add this router outlet addition in the space called in the file name called app uh, source app app component .html, which is the main uh, app component HTML file, which contains the app template and the uh, router outlet component. This is where the Angular router will render the component that corresponds to the current browser's path. That's that's pretty much all the steps that we need to add to manually set up a routing out inside the Angular project. Then the fourth step is creating the rich desired routes. So uh, for in this example, we have taken four different pages, right? Home page, um, about page, login page. And for each of these pages, as you can see in the code section here, I have created a, a object, a array of objects, and each object will contain a path and a component. And path is nothing but the name, and component is nothing but the uh, component which we will be redirecting when the users click on the particular path or when the user comes to that particular path. So, and finally, we will be adding these ad, uh, navigation links to our app template using the router link directive as mentioned here. So, open the source app of component.html and add the following code on top of the uh, router ad outlet. And we will be passing different paths for each router link. For example, I'll be passing a home, slash home for the home link and uh, different uh, links corresponding to each of these pages. Uh, and this, uh, and to be noted, these particular links needs to be matched with the path mentioned over here in the routes under the routing module file. So these are the five different steps, like to um, uh, you know uh, import a routing and add the routing module and create desired routes for any web application. We saw first how to add a routing module by importing different uh, packages from provided by the Angular. Next, we saw how to uh, create the constant array of routes. And third, we saw exporting the routing module. Fourth, uh, we saw how to add the router outlet and um, creating desired route. And finally, adding links to each of these routes. So by doing all this, we will be uh, able to see a particular uh, uh, like page where we will be having different components. And on clicking on each of these pages, we will be able to see uh, like the navigation to each of the corresponding pages. So the link for all the code change here is present in this established code. You can uh, easily, uh, easily able to reference this particular uh, link uh, to see what are the code changes I have done to make the changes appear like here in the web application. So uh, that's uh, 
pretty much uh, how we can see the Angular router. Use the Angular router to add routing and navigate into our application. We have seen different concepts like router outlet, routes, paths, and we saw an example to practically show the different concepts. And yes, we made her reach login page successfully using this routing module. So uh, that's pretty much about what I wanted to share with you all. Hope you all had a good idea of how to use routers to implement navigation in Angular application. I would love to connect with you all uh, either in LinkedIn or Twitter. Feel free to uh, reach out to me there. I'm pretty much active over there. And, and finally, thank you once again to the Technodig team for giving me this wonderful opportunity to be part of this really big event and share a screen along with many other uh, inspiring women. Thank you.